Hey everybody, Eric Dorward here with the Spartan Rocketry Club, and I'm continuing my build of the Estes Super Vega here, which is really taking up a lot of space at the moment. I gotta say, these fins are just absolutely enormous on this rocket. Uh, but in any event, it is time to hopefully wrap up the build phase of this particular uh, kit and get into the finishing phase here soon. There are a couple things that I need to glue on before that happens. And the big one is attaching these little lander pods, which we'll do. Um, the other things uh, we need to do involve putting on the launch lugs, which is going to be an interesting little challenge here. And there is one other bit. Uh, I've already done part of this, so I might as well continue doing it. I put this uh, coupler here on already. So if you recall, at some point in the past, uh, I drew a line somewhere, which I guess is just inside the the uh, tube here to divide this part in half and now I need to attach the rest of it. So here's the other part of the body tube. This is really easy work. I'm just going to put a bit of glue on the interior of this tube. It doesn't really matter which way. So there's some glue. I'm not even going to bother to spread it out but I am just going to push this on like so. I'm going to spin it around to smear the glue out. Now, frequently these have fairly noticeable seams, so I am going to try to line the seams up as best that I can. So like that. I have to say, usually these couplers are really, really snug. This one is not. Uh, so typically I just kind of like put it on and forget about it because it's not going anywhere. But this time I actually am going to hold it a little bit to let the glue set. Because otherwise, it's entirely possible I'm going to get a gap here because the, the coupler isn't going to, well, the, the top part of the body tube, the top part, isn't going to fit flush up against the main part of the body tube. So if I let the glue grab a little bit here, hopefully that won't be an issue. I have to say I'm actually rather surprised. Like I said, usually the coupler is really, really snug, and sometimes I have to sand it a little bit in order to get it to grab, or to, to fit, actually. But this is the other problem. It's a little too loose. That seems decent. I'm going to have to, you know, this is a fairly noticeable crack one way or the other. I'm going to have to do something about that, but we'll worry about that when we get to the uh, finishing stage. All right. Um, the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to put the launch lugs on. So the launch lug, yeah, this one's a little odd. So typically the launch lug goes right up against one of the main fins. Well, that's not really an option here because we've got these like extra reinforcers. So it's an, it's going to go up against one of the smaller fins here, which is what the instructions are saying to do. And it's supposed to then, so it's going to fit, to rotate this, it's going to fit kind of like right in here. And well, that's great, except I don't have a markup here. And even if I did this line, is in line with the fin and it's going to go a little bit to the right of that so we're going to kind of have to eyeball this at least to start and then i'm going to have to double check it using a dowel that's what we're going to do all right so i don't need that right now or these guys so i'm going to take one of the two launch lugs which these are three sixteenths by the way so this is going to require the maxi rod as estes calls it This doesn't really require the two different application business, but I am going to take the time to spread the glue out a little bit because it was not super consistent. All right. And then I'm just going to put it in place close to, but not quite at the end of the fin. So there you have it. And that. That's fine. I don't really need to do much about that. As for the other one, yeah, this is the part that's going to be a little dodgy. Because I am going to have to eyeball it at least to start. Now, I do have a bit of dowel scrap here, which is just barely going to be long enough to use to test that I've got this in the right place. But if I didn't, for whatever reason... I could always break out the launch rod and use that to test. 
All right. So, yeah, this is again, I'm, I'm going to have to eyeball it here. I do have my line, and it's a little bit to the right of that. So, I'm going to at least start, and I want to put it in between the two uh, trapezoidal fins. So, that's about here, let's say. All right. Now, you can just kind of look down the tube to see if they're lined up, but that, that's probably not going to really be adequate in this case. Also, well, I'm just going to do it at least to sight it in here, and I can tell that it's not quite on straight, because looking down it, I can see, you know, you should be able to see straight through it without seeing the edge of either one, and I, I didn't, so that was no good. But I'm going to carefully... Put the dowel in like this, and it should, and it's not quite long enough, but it does at least connect the two. All right, so I'm going to hope that's adequate. Um, I am going to get onto the pods here while that dries. Hopefully I don't dislodge any of them. But in any event, um, when I'm all done with this, I'm going to have to put fillets on the launch lugs. I've actually already put fillets on two thirds of the fins. So I do have one more bit of launch lug work to, or uh, fillet work to do. I'm going to do that as well. All right. As for these pods. Yeah. So they're going to fit in and I have tested them already and they're a little, some of them are a little more snug than the others, but they're going to fit in like this. And then the lines that I drew on pods. Remember, there's some here and there's some here. You're going to use that to center the pod on the fin. Now, one of these, like I said, was really quite snug and I could get it in sideways and then I kind of had to rotate it the rest of the way to get it where it was supposed to be. That's actually probably going to be the easiest one because it's going to hold in place. I think I'm only going to... There we go. I'm only going to bother doing one of these on camera because I'm going to let each one dry separately uh, so I don't accidentally mess them up as I go. All right, so I am going to put the glue on the fin itself. Oops, probably helps if I have this open. And I am going to do the two different layer approach. I'm not going to use the um, slow... Or the, the, what do you call it? the extra thick glue. And I do need to stand this up here for a moment. There we go. So, unfortunately, I'm not going to be able to see this part, but I do need at least to stand it up to get some of the glue in place. I am going to spread it out as per usual with my dowel. It is, you know, I have to do it in multiple directions here. So I'm going to rotate it around to make sure that I'm doing a decent job spreading things out. We'll let that wait a few seconds. I'm going to stand it up vertically again, which I have to say is not as stable as it used to be because now the body tube is significantly longer than it was. I'm going to apply the next bit of glue here. Okay. Do need to clean that nozzle because it's not super clean. All right, so I'm going to have this vertical at the moment. I think that's my best bet. All right, so here's the pod leg. I'm going to try to get it in as straight as possible to begin with, but I, I suspect I'm going to have to rotate it a little bit to get everything all lined up here at some point. Now just be careful because this part of the fin, this part of the fin is really fragile, right? definitely susceptible to breakage. All right, so the top part, you can see is centered pretty nicely. The bottom part, oops, is not. Now you probably can't see it, but I'm gonna have to adjust it a little bit. It was basically where it was supposed to be, but it wasn't on quite straight. So there we go. 
All right, it is basically in place now. There we go, a little minor adjustment there. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab my glue again and I'm going to put, this isn't exactly a fillet, but I'm gonna put a little bit of excess glue along the seams on both sides here. I kind of treat it like a fillet, I guess. So I'm going to smooth it out. I do want to keep the mess here at a minimum. And I have been kind of pushing glue all over the place, so I do have my cleanup rag. All right, so I got two sides. Let's do the other two. Okay. There we go. All right, so pod is now in place. It looks pretty straight, at least according to the lines on the top. I'm going to check the bottom again. Bottom looks good. I'm going to let this sit. There is no point in trying to do all of these at the same time because I could certainly jostle it quite easily. And then well, I'd have to go <laughs> try to reset everything. All right, so the rest of those, are just, they're just going to happen off camera. I don't need to record that right now. That should basically take care of the construction phase of this. Um, there are, I mean, there are a few other little odds and ends that will need to get addressed, like this little decorative thrust nozzle thing. This is going to get painted separately and applied at the very end. One would think I have to build parachute, um, a couple other things, but this is it for the construction phase. I'll put fillets on and I will finish the other two pods in the meantime, and then I will see you in the next video for a little bit of uh, finishing work. See you then.